morning. It is currently 6 a.m. in Korea and I will be taking you guys through a day in quarantine with me. Uh, the birds are chirping, so that's a good sign, right? So today is day four of my quarantine, so just 10 more days left until I'm out of here and ready to go move into my main dorm and go explore the country, which I'm so excited to do. Um, so I'll basically just be taking you guys through my routine, so this will be fun. Let's dive in. So the first thing I'm going to do is start by brushing my teeth and then I'm going to get in the shower. Actually, I want to show you guys what the shower looks like in Korea. It's a bit like non-traditional and a lot different from showers are like in America. So it takes a little getting used to, but once you figure out how to control the water stream, you'll be fine. So let me show you what the shower looks like before I start brushing it. Okay, so this is the shower. It's not separated from the rest of the bathroom at all. You can see my shower shoes, the rest of the bathroom's there. The towel I have to keep the floor from being wet. Um, yeah, so the shower is basically just the shower head and that's the stream of water. But yeah, it's really hard to maintain the water when you're showering, so it takes some getting used to. As you can see, there's nothing but like block it, no wall or door to pull. But once you get the hang of it, it's actually really easy. So now I'm going to brush my teeth. To brush not just my shirt. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. Hi guys, so I'm back and I'm really hungry. Um, usually there's a notification. I'm sorry for pointing it every other way. Usually there's a notification over that intercom right there telling us when it's time for lunch. Uh, not lunch, breakfast. And I haven't heard it yet. So I'm gonna just peek out the door and see if we got breakfast yet. Cause we're really hungry. We did get breakfast. I just didn't open the door. Okay. 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 So as you saw from my panicked, frantic state last time, we did get breakfast. It's just sitting out there waiting for me. Guys, this milk. This is literally my favorite milk ever. I don't think I can go back to America and have normal milk again because this milk is so fresh and like creamy. It's so delicious. Let's see, today they gave us sandwiches from the cafe. I love this cafe. So it's like a bacon. It's not a BLT, I don't think. It could be a BLT. I'm gonna have to open this. Um, and then they gave us eggs, which I dropped off camera. That was a bit embarrassing, but they didn't crack surprisingly. There's some strong eggs. So let's dig in. So right now I'm about to watch The Wiz, which is two hours long, which should cut up a lot of my time before lunch. And I just love this movie so much. I haven't watched The Wiz yet. I definitely recommend it and you should really watch it because it's a classic movie. The songs are so good. It has Diana Ross, Michael Jackson. So many legends are in this movie and they all came together and made such an amazing film. So watch it, it's one of my favorite musicals. Okay, time to watch it, bye. Hey y'all, so I've been doing a workout for the past like 11 minutes. I've been working out consistently for the past three days and I'm about to find my second workout video and then a third one because I like to do like three workout videos because that's like how many minutes I try to get like at least a 30 40 minute workout in because I have 14 days of quarantine so working out every day I really think will improve my body especially because I do Chloe Ting and if you know her you know her workouts are like amazing for you and they like improve your body so quickly so since I have 14 days, I've been dedicating them to working out, improving my body, and just preparing myself for the study abroad experience. But yeah, this is one part of my quarantine. I work out after breakfast. It's currently 11.42. I started at like 11.30ish. Yes. So I'm probably going to work out until 12. 
so let me go find my other two workout videos and get back to working out. Okay guys, so I just pulled lunch in and I'm literally so excited to eat. Like, it's something I really like. I'm really excited to eat this. It's tonkatsu. I've been wanting this so long. Wait, let me show you. Okay, so you can see the tonkatsu right here on the side. We have dumplings, pickled radish, what looks to be mashed potatoes. They gave us a soy sauce with it and the utensils they always give us. I'm not sure what this is. I'm pretty sure it's more like soup or something, but I'm so excited to eat this. Hi guys! Um, I'm really tired right now. It's currently 1.42 p.m. here, so my body thinks it's 11.42 p.m. back in America, back in my home. So this is usually the time where I go to sleep, so I'm literally fighting to stay up because I'm trying to put my sleep schedule back on track. Yesterday, I tried to stay up and I was good. I stayed up until 3 p.m. and then I eventually like fell asleep, but this time I'm really going to do my best to stay up until like dinner time when they serve us at 7 ish six or seven ish and then i'm gonna eat dinner and then i'm gonna go to sleep because i really need to fix my sleeping schedule and i know that if i keep letting myself take these naps throughout the day because my body like wants me to um i'll, I'll fix it but it will take me a long time to fix my sleep schedule so one thing about studying abroad is the fact that after jet lag it takes your body a long time to adjust to the time zone difference so make sure you're giving your body that time to adjust and you're forcing yourself to adjust i know it's hard um it's hard for me but it's one thing about quarantine you get to force your body to adjust to the new time zones <sighs> okay i'll catch you guys at dinner time bye hi everyone so you're joining me for my last meal of the day i have some leftover pepsi so i'm gonna drink that and they also brought me um orange juice and cider earlier during snack time so i have that in the fridge um today we have some rice for dinner kimchi of course um some probably different fermented vegetable and this is potatoes and what i believe to be beef beef and potatoes and then this to be honest, I'm not really sure what it is, I think. I don't know, I don't want to guess. I'm not really sure. I guess I can taste it and see. Two seconds later. Actually, I don't know what that is. It doesn't taste like egg. Everything's really good with rice. It's like a roast. My cheeks are so cool. I'm so tired of people notice. I did so good. I didn't fall asleep at all. I stayed up. So now when I go to bed, I'll probably sleep so well and I'm so excited for that. So I hope you all enjoyed watching a day in the life of my quarantine. I know it wasn't very eventful, but there's not much to do in here. Like I practice Korean sometimes, I watch lots of movies, I listen to music and dance, I exercise, and of course I eat so much, lots of snacks, lots of meals. So it's just, you know, what quarantine's supposed to be, just you relaxing and like hoping you don't have coronavirus, obviously. And I only have tomorrow nine more days of this and tomorrow eight more days until I get tested again so I can leave. So um, my journey here is almost coming to an end. It's coming to an end really quickly because it's almost Monday already. So I feel really good with the way the time is going and I'm not as bored as I thought it would be. I do get bored sometimes, but for the most part, I keep myself busy and I'm really productive. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more fun study of 
broad video. Let me do that again. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more fun study abroad content and vlogs from me. And as always, make sure you like my video, subscribe to this channel, and turn on my notification bell. Thank you, my sensations. Bye.